Hey everybody, AmpreyPairGuy.com. There's my phone number and my website. Here we have another Ameritron AL572. So this is a newer one. Already has the grids grounded, has the gas discharge tubes in, uh, installed. You can see the leads are badly frayed. So like maybe a couple strands holding it on. I'll have to repair these. It's not good. So it has an old, old set of Pentalab tubes in it. I'll put those on my tube tester, my TV7 military tube tester. So I'm going to go through this and make it work. I'll be back. See you soon. forgot to mention in the first video I took out the transistor for the bias circuit. It wasn't making connection to the wall, and it was uh, damaged, shorted, so the other one I worked on had a bad one also, so this will be getting a new one. Here's the lead from the board. I wanted to show you how badly frayed it is. So as you can see, only a couple strands, a few strands literally holding it. So, took this out. I was going to replace just the four plan on just replacing the four leads but as you can see it has severe overheating and the, t the resistors are way out of tolerance so you know I'm just going to I'm going to just change the whole board you know when you account for the labor time to remove the resistors part cost of the resistors and straps and everything it's just to buy another board believe it or not it costs the customer less money than me having to rebuild this board so Plus, it still would have the evidence of the overheating, and someday someone may work on it and think that there's an issue, even though it had been rebuilt. So, that's that. I removed the, the mod over there. So, ordered it. Wait for that, and uh, I'll continue. See you soon. Okay, so the new transistor's installed. Went to check the out uh, the SO239 connectors, the output and the input. The output one has good grip. The input one just slips right in and out. So I'll go ahead and replace the input one. I've seen people bend these back, but that's only a temporary fix. So, and once again, what happens is a lot of times people have like a solder blob on, uh, on the center pin and it ends up spreading the clips. So I always, you know, Educate the customer on that. Make sure they that their jumpers are okay. Uh, that the uh, they don't have any issues with their PL59 connector. Okay, so I'm going to change that. I'll be back. Back with the completed AL572 Ameritron amp. So brand new parasitic board, brand new Pentalab 572B tubes. I removed the mod that they do at Ameritron. I was told by one of their techs it's not needed when you have the gas discharge tubes installed. Also got rid of the MOVs, which are not needed. That mod makes the bias meter go negative when you first turn it on. And then it comes back. It helps protect the... Well, it originally was installed to help protect the components for the bias circuit. But with the, with the uh, gas discharge tube, it's not needed. So... Plate blocking caps were cracked, they were damaged, replace those, the shaft was damaged, the couples, the output rotary switch, you know, band switch to the input rotary switch, because it just, one of the tubes had gotten so hot that it heated it up and it was cracked. So, put a new one in. When I went to test it, I didn't see it at first, but the plate tune cap had been arcing between one of the plates. So, you know, probably could have cleaned it, but with the labor, you know, I had to take the, you always have to take the load cap out, and it's just the process to get it out it takes a bunch of time. So, as you've seen in my other videos, so instead of just cleaning it, I mean, the, the amount of time to take it out and clean it and all that, it just makes more sense to replace it. So, I put a brand new one in, put that in, it's installed, everything's good. Changed the SO239, I changed the transistor for the bias circuit, that's good. 
and uh, tested it for uh, full full output on all bands. Also uh, fixed some some bad solder joints here and there. Put new fuses in it. And this thing's good to go. So, if you need an amplifier repaired, feel free to give me a call. 203-892-4119. Very busy here. Heathgate SP2-201. Uh, I'm waiting on parts for. I'm working on the 6 meter monster again. I have more amplifiers upstairs. Collins 30L1. And the Maritron AL811H. More stuff coming, so... So I'm waiting on parts. I'm going to get some more stuff done on that. I need to get that done ASAP. So, once again, thanks for watching. It's amprepairguy.com, 203-892-4119. And please like, share, and subscribe. I'd really appreciate it. Take care.